What is going on, everyone? I am here with an update on the Mustang, and yes, uh, it is in yet another new home. I had recently moved, so this is her new, uh, I guess, workstation slash uh, resting place. But um, I just want to go ahead and update you guys on what I got going on with this bad girl here. Uh, progress has been a little slowed down, uh, you know how it goes. So uh, this video is pretty much, I'm just making new brake lines and I ended up getting a Cobra Art front brake kit on sale from like last Black Friday. Cause you know, love spending money on parts that sit in boxes. But yeah, I finally get to go and put the front brakes on. Everything's going smooth until I put the passenger side on and I'm just like, these rotors look a little different. So you'll see in the video, especially if you catch where I'm like, yeah, it came with a different size brake hose. Totally made sense. So, um, I've got the calipers and stuff, went ahead and painted them, did them red to match the rears, but right now she's just got some stock GT brakes on it in the front. The calipers are just kind of zip tied to the frame just for now, but, um, that was nice of LMR to go ahead and uh, send me a shirt because, you know, it's like the cherry on top, like, hey, we messed up your order, but here you go, but they refunded me, so I'm going to go ahead and order, uh, the matching front Cobra brake set. She's pretty much just the rotors, but I went ahead and made some brake lines, got the new brakes on. Um, only thing is when we went to go bleed the system, since the master cylinder sat for so long empty, uh, I just got to rebuild it, put some fresh O-rings and stuff like that. So that's going to be interesting because I've never rebuilt a, uh, especially a Hydro Boost master cylinder. So we'll see how that goes. But after that, we should have some functioning brakes and then um, a couple other things here. But this is what she's looking like right now. I want to, I don't know how well did this up, but I'm probably going to fix her up. Uh, you know, I just want to get her running, but I'll fix it up, make it look a little prettier. But it's a nice smiley face there for now. But uh, there she is. I went ahead and rebrand the fuel lines inside the car and under the carpet. So uh, that's probably going to be next on my list is uh, taking this bad girl apart, blasting her and actually painting it so it doesn't rust. I mean, now that she's in a garage, uh, be kind of good. Oh, uh, we also did get a pretty good head start on the wiring and stuff. Uh, it is a mess in there, so uh, we'll just leave that for your imagination. So the way we came up with these, how, you know, we're going to make these brake lines, um, using the uh, stock proportioning valve, and I just cut off the front and rear brake lines, like the main ones, and we added T's to them, I don't know if you can see the other one, just way down there, and then put some adapters on the T's to go into the new brake lines. So that's what we're running, so, you know, the thicker ones obviously for the front, thinner ones for the rears, so we have one brake line made. This was the uh, easy one. So now the rest are all the hard ones because the uh... so I gotta get a new brake hose because I ordered a Cobra R front brake kit but they gave me two different brake hoses which is weird. So I'm just gonna get another GT line because why not? Um, yeah, these are the rears. So I'm gonna need a union for that top one and then the old union is still there, so that's the current brake line that I'm working on right now. So I've got a bend going, and I got her going down there. So I'm going to see if I'm going to need another union, or maybe I can make it work up into the T, which looks promising. So 
it's really all we're doing. It's just really tedious, so this was my first victim that I ended up messing up, so, you know, everything's a learning process, you know, so, um, this is the, uh, little flare doohickey things, so all you do is stick the brake line in it, get it, you know, just about a quarter inch above, you're gonna squeeze it, slide this guy on, what this guy does is, you know, once you, uh, keep screwing it down, it kind of goes offset, so instead of being like a drill, it kind of goes around, so it'll center it and then kind of go around and make the flare. And that's pretty much how you make the flare. I'll show you guys in a, in a clip. So that's all we're doing. I mean, the only ones that I had to flare were the old ones for the, the tees. And then everything else kind of has the, the fittings on it. So there's like a, any brake line you can get at a part store, but you know, you don't want to, you want to make sure it's the same diameter, enough length and the correct fittings. So that's really it. It's just all bending and trial and error. I know it's essentially time lapses, but uh, I just wanted to go ahead and catch, you know, what I could on the progress that I've made and, you know, I'll have more dialogue in my future videos. It's just, it's been crammed with me and, you know, just moving and trying to meet deadlines. But uh, now I'm just kind of settling in, you know, finding a, a new job and getting her going and uh, also got some updates for the BMW. That will be the next video, but uh, I came this close to selling her, but uh, got a quite interesting story on that. But other than that, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, go ahead and give me a follow on social medias. I am usually very active on Instagram. I post a little more things like personally, you know, like whatever it may be. But um, I also did recently start posting on TikTok, so I'm just kind of throwing random things out there. It's just a mixture of other little hobbies that I have that doesn't include cars. But uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Catch you later. Oh.